I would not be here if not for the horrendous events that took place on February 14th, 2018. 16-year-old Lauren Hogg survived the Parkland, Florida high school shooting, but 14 of her classmates and three of her teachers did not. Members of Congress asked Hogg to talk to them about school safety. Do you think we've done enough, Congress? I mean, I think if you would have done enough, we wouldn't have to be having this conversation today, right? Hogg listened as lawmakers debated how to do more to prevent school shootings. Mississippi Congressman Mike Guest wants to allow school employees to carry guns. They must undergo background checks, there must be psychiatric evaluations, and there also must be specific training by law enforcement. But Louisiana Congressman Cedric Richmond worries arming school staff would only create more confusion. And the police officers get there and have to decide who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. Florida state lawmakers voted this year to give their schools the option to arm staff. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, nearly a dozen states allow this. And President Trump and Education Secretary Betsy DeVos have backed the idea. But Hogg argued Congress should help schools hire dedicated security guards, not militarized teachers in their classrooms. However, she isn't confident lawmakers can get that done. I'm not sure if many of Congressmen, Congresswomen today would do anything unless it was their own child or their own loved one who was taken to gun violence. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.